Hey everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you all the features of Terra and how to download and install it on your server. Terra is a modern world generation plugin and mod that allows complete customization of world generation with an advanced API, tightly integrated with a powerful configuration system. Terra allows for complete customizable world generation. Everything from blocks to biomes to dimensions is defined via configuration files. This grants you complete control over your world. First, you're going to need to go to the Terra website. You can find the link in the description below. Click on versions at the top. Then select the fabric version of the mod and click the download button next to it, which should instantly download the file. Once that's done, we recommend dragging the file to your desktop so it's easier to find. Go to your server's control panel. Make sure your server is set to fabric and that you've also selected a version that is compatible. Before proceeding, make sure your server is offline. Next, head over to your file section and open the mods folder. Now you want to drag and drop the file into this folder. Then you can turn on your server and wait till it's online to see if it installed correctly. After doing so, head over to the console tab to make sure the mod is installed. You can see it's installed when it says done near the bottom. During the startup, make sure there aren't any errors relating to Terra. To enable the Terra world generation, first make sure your server is offline. Then go to your files section. Scroll down until you find the server.properties file and then open it. Look for level type. If the level type key doesn't exist, simply add it yourself to the end of the file. Next to level type, paste in the following config. We will have this config in the description below so you can copy and paste it. Make sure to save the changes. Then delete the existing world folder from your server files. Now you can turn on your server and the mod should work. Also keep in mind that you must have a new world for the generation to work because it won't work with an old world without having sharp transition edges. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.